Good morning, you awesome people. It's Mark in the Park. We are in Redwood Land in the northern coast of California. I went to the hospital for a couple days. Uh, probably could have been shorter, but they wanted to keep me there in case. Turns out, I, I thought I may have had appendicitis. Turns out I just had really, really bad food poisoning, which Alana actually had earlier in the trip. And kudos to her, because she took it like a champ in a hotel room, whereas I ended up going to the hospital. Feeling a bit better. Uh, energy's still a bit low, so we're not going to be doing any crazy hikes, but there's so much to see by just driving around in California that it should still be an awesome time. But uh, before we get started today, let's get this thing off, because I don't want this reminder anymore. Ah, so much better. All right, we are now at Stout Grove Trail. Apparently there is no beer here. Unfortunately, the, they don't just, it's not like a grove full of stout trees. Can you imagine just beer bottles growing on trees and you just go off and like and pick them? Oh, look at that, a nitro stout, oh! The trees here, it's hard to even get the scale. They are massive. Not only in height, but like just, my arms can't even do it justice. We've seen Ontario forests, we've seen Alberta, British Columbia forests, we've seen coastal rainforests. I must say this is probably my favorite forest we've seen so far. Something about these trees being so inconceivably massive just makes everything seem so small and it just has such a calming effect. Like everything seems so still in this forest if you look around. There's just not much going on. It's just a bunch of just a bunch of elderly trees hanging out. Mark described it as a bunch of old, wise people just, just kind of chilling, you know, living their life. Been like that for a couple thousand years. Like nothing to prove. There's no hustle bustle. They're just no. like, yeah, this is I'm our like, life. Right, keep on growing up a little bit, maybe a little out. That's okay. Yeah, and they've got no, no stress in the world mm -hmm. other than when their neighbor falls on them and they have to catch them. Oh, I got you, Betsy. <laughs> If that wasn't incredible enough, we now have a beautiful scenic drive on our way to a canyon made out of fern trees. What more could you want? Nothing. Today's shaping Cotton up. Cotton Candy Canyon. That's a good point. Cotton Canyon, yeah. Yeah. Cotton Canyon. my friends is why we have all-wheel drive so I was gonna film the scenic highway drive but if I'm being honest I had a little nap and I woke up not too long ago to whatever's going on here there's just a bunch it's of elk unclear. we're not sure if they're wild if these are wild or what is going on but we were told by the lady in a car next to us that these are actually wild elk. But for some reason, they just all are gathered here. Right off of Highway 101. It's great though, because the males have like a group of females that are like their girls, and they'll herd them around. But the way they herd them around is they just like go behind them and like. Well, oh, shootable. Whew, so the gravel road on the way here wasn't the greatest for the tummy, but uh, we're now at Fern Canyon and we've got a grueling nice. 0 0.1 mile hike out that of the canyon. That was my addition from another take. I geared today towards not really being able to walk very far. Oh wait, is this how they came up with river dancing? <laughs> she played the fiddle in an Irish band, what? but she fell in love with an English man. <laughs> The 
this place is completely otherworldly. Just walls of green on both sides. I don't know about you, but I feel like a velociraptor is going to jump out and attack. I it's feel happening. like a velociraptor. Oh god. Ah. <laughs> I didn't know I'd get a gimpy one. <laughs> Well, if you're gonna have a dirty car, might as well use it for some self-promo. <laughs> because of my little stint in the hospital, uh, we have to completely rush through the northern part of California, the northern coast, because we are meeting up with my brother in Fremont in two days, well, tomorrow night. So today has been a lot of driving, and we are currently rushing through the Avenue of the Giants because as you can see outside past Atlanta, it's gorgeous, but the sun is starting to go down and we want to see this thing. So hopefully we have enough light when we're going through this that I can show you guys this because so far it is, it is quite beautiful. Yeah. 